I'm Mary Carr. I'm Christopher Robinson. And this is Poetry Fix. Today we have a poem by Thomas Lux. One of those blue-collar American type poets. The best kind there is? Yeah, maybe. Uh, he was born to a milkman and a woman who worked the Sears and Roebuck switchboard. You gotta love those people. He's not a lord. He's not a lord. No. It's, he's not lord <laughs> suck on this, right? Yeah. He's one of us, the peeps. Tarantulas on the life boy. You know, his, his poems often have a moral message to them, with it, but they never seem preachier. Yeah. Horrible. Well, you'll find out in, in a this poem. Yeah. Tarantulas on the life boy. For some semi tropical reason, when the rains fall, relentlessly they fall into swimming pools, these otherwise bright and scary arachnids. They can swim a little, but not for long, and they can't climb the ladder out. They usually drown. But if you want their favor, if you believe there is justice, a reward for not loving the death of ugly and even dangerous the eel, hog snake, rats, creatures, if you believe these things, then you would leave a light boy or two in your swimming pool at night. And in the morning, you would haul ashore the huddled, carry survivors and escort them back to the bush and know, be assured that at least these saved as individuals would not turn up again someday in your hat, drawer, or the tangled underworld of your socks. And that even when your belief in justice merges with your belief in dreams, they may tell the others in a sign language four times as subtle and complicated as man's that you are good, that you would love them, that you would save them again. I love that specificity of four times as subtle. <laughs> That's right, the, the yeah. talking of sign language Six, four times yeah. as subtle as man's. That's really uh, funny. I love that though, that you know, these these spiders fall in your in your swimming hmm. pool and if, if you really, you know, if you want to seem like a good guy, you believe in justice, you believe there's a reward for, for you know, hmm. not loving the death of things that frighten you, yeah. right? I think, you know, you mentioned that his poems have a, some sort of moral component to them, but they seem to escape being uh, preachy. I think maybe one of the ways that this poem gets away with that is by phrasing it in second person and in the conditional, speaking to a, a reader, to you, if you... If you believe. Yeah, sort of you know, like, maybe you believe there's justice. Maybe you don't, right? Yeah, right. Um, and maybe this is the way that will serve justice, and maybe it's not. But it's and, the, and then about. why do we do this? Why do we do this? Because the spiders are going to not turn up in the tangled underworld of your socks. That's a right. great line. And then they'll tell the other spiders not to bite you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I kind of love that, right? It's just like my son was mm -hmm. mugged on the street here in New York, and a guy said, we're going to beat you up and take your money. And my son said, please don't. And? Well, they did. They busted out laughing. They, <laughs> I think no muggy yeah. had ever just yeah. pled mercilessly, you know, shamelessly for mm -hmm. his, for his uh, to keep his money. So anyway, take care of the tarantulas yeah. in your pool. I'm Mary Carr. I'm Christopher Robinson. This has been Poetry Fix. For some semi-tropical reason, when the rains fall, <laughs> tarantulas on a life boy by tarantulas on a life boy by. <laughs> we can't do this anymore, can we?